In this video, we're going to create a context path for our application. And if we look at the URL that we were using to send the HTTP request to a user service controller and look at different parts of this URL. First, we have the protocol HTTP, and then we have the domain name. It is localhost at this moment because we are running Tomcat servlet container locally on our computer and then port number on which we have our Tomcat running. And then we have forward slash users, which is actually a path to our REST controller, which is responsible for handling HTTP requests that are related to users. And if I delete users, then all HTTP requests will be sent to an application which does not have context path defined because forward slash means that this is a root context path. And if we create entirely new project, then we have a conflict unless we specify the context path. So context path is needed to help Tomcat make a decision which application needs to handle incoming HTTP requests. So for my current application, I could create a context path, which is a name of this application. For example, mobile app WS will be a name of my application and a context path. And I can then create a new project, which will have a different context path. Let me paste the complete URL. And let's say that project will have a different context path because it is a completely different project. Let's say that API is for shoe store. Now, when we have two different context path defined for our applications, when HTTP requests arrive, Apache Servlet Container will know which application is responsible to handle which requests. But if we do not have context path defined, then Apache Tomcat doesn't really know what to do and there is a conflict. So let's define context path for our application. And to do that, we will need to work with properties file. There are different ways to define context path. And one of the ways is to do it through application properties file. So the property file is located in source main resources folder. And then I will open application properties. And here we will need to define context path. And we do it by referring server property and then servlet and look for context path. Here we go. So let's say for this project, because my project name is mobile app dash ws, I will create a context path with the same name mobile app dash ws and save. And this is all I need to do. Now I can rebuild my project, run it, and all web service endpoints in my user REST controller will need to have that resource path included in the URL. I don't have to change the mapping here. The get mapping stays the same. The put mapping stays the same. All stays the same. It is just the URL that I use in the client, like Postman, for example, will change. So let's run this application and test it. So my application is up and running and I see that Tomcat started on port 8080 with the context path forward slash mobile app dash WS. So now when I go to my postman, I can no longer send a HTTP request to forward slash users. And if I do that, I get 404 not found. Now I will need to provide mobile app WS as a context path and then users as the path to my REST controller. And I can send this request and I get back a proper response. The record already exists because I'm reusing JSON payload from a previous HTTP request that we used to create a user with this username and password. Okay, so now you know how to create context path for your application. And when you deploy your application to Apache Servlet container that contains different projects running on same Tomcat, Tomcat will know how to direct HTTP requests sent to your application and sent to a different application.